Hello everybody, it is MG, and today we're making a new video. So, today's new video is how to macro, how to download macro for B-Swarm Sim. So, first of all, you are gonna have to join the Discord server, the, Na the Natural Macro Discord server. We'll put a a link in the description to join the server so make sure you join that because you will need to join it for even getting the macro so when you join it you're just you're gonna go straight down to nature macro and it's just all gonna be here you're gonna get the newest one so 0 0.9.8 for me right now maybe there's gonna be new ones soon I don't really know but you're gonna click just download here, then you're just gonna continue download. Then it's gonna download, yep, now it's downloaded. So you can just, uh, you can just go down, go in your stuff, downloads. Then you can click and then you can extract. You can browse. And you can go and put this wherever you want. I put it in desktop, so I already have it downloaded. I'm not going to do it again. And then, when you have that, you're going to go in your files. And right here, you're going to go in Natural Macro. And then it's going to put Start, so you're going to just double click Start. So n now you should have this on top of your screen. This little thing, it says nature macro. So first of all, I'm going to go through this list of stuff. So first of all, in gather, there's just what field you want to go in, what kind of pattern you want, and then how much time you want to, to be in the thing, in the, in the fields. You can put where on the field you want to be, so upper, or you can choose wherever. Um, there is, so right here, you can put hive by reset, so it's going to reset your character and just go to your hive and then it's going to restart the macro. Or you can walk and it's going to take all your honey and just convert it to hunt, uh, all your pollen and convert it to honey. So you're going to get that extra free honey that you already collected. Now, in collect and kill. So collect, there is, I recommend clock because it gives a lot of uh, tickets for like if you uh, macro all day. And then in dispensers, I would put glue because uh, it's the glue is very hard to get in the game so you can just go to the dispensers and then just get some free glue out of it or you can just dispensers you can just use any of them to be honest but they're kind of all like bad i mean the royal jelly is not that bad gives haste but wouldn't really use it to be honest now in kill bug runs everybody uses them you can get a lot of material out of out of it so you will just select all and boom it just selects all of it and then it's just gonna do a bug run so you can also do um you can click this and it's gonna kill vicious bee you can get like 200 stingers a day just just doing this just macroing on this you can get like 200 stingers from it. It is very OP. Now, in bosses, there is all these bosses. And in the King Beetle and Tunnelblade, you can put Baby Love. Just You just need to click right beside the hearts. And then over here, down here, nothing really much. Stump Snail Commando. You can... Uh, you can, uh, if you want, uh, like a new 
thing or keep old i don't know and you can like change the health and stuff and like if you want to stay or you want to stay and kill it now in boost you can put like an item in your slot and then put that item in that slot and it's gonna use it to make and then it's gonna make you even more honey because you're gonna like basically boost just like a little so you're gonna get even more honey from it so it's very op now quest you can um enable your quest so like riley b it's gonna live enable the i'm pretty sure in collect ant pass because you need them for uh, the ant challenge because in the riley b you can defeat um fire ants i'm pretty sure so that's why it's gonna just put it randomly and then um you can put polar bear it's just gonna do the quest and then you're gonna get a uh, um, energy for your bees so that's very good and then with that there's like honey bee bucko bee black bear i wouldn't really use those now in planters planters you just drag it manual and then all the way to plus just gonna drag it all right I'm not very good with this. I don't really care about the planters, but you're gonna just, it's gonna be all the, already just ready with uh, like the normal planters. Um, paper and ticket, they're kind of bad, so I wouldn't really. Then you can choose the nectars if you want. So if you're a white hive, it's gonna uh, mostly do these cause it's gonna give you more of what you have now blue and then you can also choose red I mean I'm red so it would do that and then it's gonna like put the fields that you put your you can choose what field well no I don't really get it to be honest but I put it off I don't really care about planters to be honest and then you can see the uh, log for what you've did. So last thing I did basically is gather and pepper. And then so you can see like how much kills you got, how much disconnects, how much bug kills, uh, and then all that stuff. But I don't really look at this. Now settings. You're gonna put your private servers link if you have one. I don't have one so I don't have anything. And then movement speed. The, so you're gonna put your movement speed that you already have in the game. So mine is 33.6 I'm pretty sure. that Because that's what I put. Yeah move speed 33.6. So you're gonna put that when you don't have any like speed or anything because it's gonna like it's gonna really help you with the speed and then because like if it if it would mess up the speed then you you could go like off track and stuff and it, you wouldn't really make that much now misc and credits now misc i don't really get it but i guess it's like super op so you can choose some and then credits there's nothing really just credits for the team and stuff that made it and then yeah that's basically it so you can just press f1 on your keyboard so uh i'm gonna get my hive and then i'm gonna press f1 it's gonna move my mouse I'm clapping, I'm not even touching the keyboard, and it's gonna move alone, it's gonna make honey at start, I'm pretty sure, yeah. And then you can just like, wait, and now I will probably do a time lapse of the macro doing it alone.
all right guys i am back and right now it is just like macroing i'm not doing anything then to stop it i just press f3 on my keyboard and it just stops so with that it's it was doing like some quests and stuff and i wasn't doing anything so i guess that's good and um i'll see you guys in the next video if this helped please if you do please it will help me a lot just like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video see you guys